Hey everybody, Lord Knight here. Uh, I'm signing in from Japan right now. Right now I'm in Ikebukuro in Tokyo. Uh, I got here last week. It's been pretty good so far. I wanted to get an episode done last week, but I figured a Japan special would be pretty good for this week. So right now I'm actually just waiting around a little bit for stick bug to get back so that we can head over to Nagoya for today. We're gonna play uh, a few people you might know, like uh, I think Whistler is gonna be there. Sujikawa might be there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's actually gonna show up or not. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna leave in like an hour or so, just when Stick Bug gets here. Um, oh. So, uh, actually, hold on. Let me. Shit. So, uh, well, my bad. Since, uh, pretty much I haven't had any problems with jet lag or anything, like, thankfully I was smart enough. Well, not smart enough. It's kind of my fault. Uh, in a good way, though. Uh, my sleep schedule was kind of off the past couple weeks, so I was, uh, kind of in line with. Japanese, like a Japanese sleep schedule anyway, like the times I was going to sleep and stuff. So we got here, we just stayed up, stayed up to like two or three. I net played Shonen, that was really fun. Uh, and like I went to sleep. The, the weirdest thing about the trip was really being, um, being in a, hold on, let me put the camera on me. It's good. It's good. I actually have no idea. Okay. Hopefully this is good. Uh, I don't know if you guys want. Yeah, I'll just leave it on this. Uh, yeah, I was in like continuous daylight for about let's say 22 hours or something. That's really weird. I feel like the sun sets here kind of early, also. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. I might be bugging out. Uh, I wanna do something about this stand. Well, anyway. Uh, excuse me while I uh, fix the camera. I'm trying to get it in a way that will make sense for people watching. It's good, can't even tell. Sorry about the angle. I have it. I have this figured out better next time. Uh, let's see. So far, I've been to. I guess what I can call my stomping grounds is this place like five minutes away. It's called Ikebukuro Gigo. It's like a arcade owned by Sega. It's like six floors or something crazy. It's a. It's a decently nice place. Uh, the fighting, fighting games have their own floor. Uh, so that's where I got my drive card and stuff. That's how I got all my stuff set up. Um, the competition there, like, isn't that good, though. Like, the best player, like, the best player there is definitely Stun Edge, who graciously let us stay at his place. Uh... But he doesn't even play, really, so there's no, like, outstanding player. I just came from there, uh, about, I want to say, an hour ago, a little, a little over an hour ago, and I got, like, a 10 win streak, like, I didn't lose anyone, I didn't have any real problems. Uh, it seems like the standard here for casuals is, like, 100 yen a game, three rounds. The arcade I went to yesterday, Yokohama Freedom, had a special where... It was three games for 200 yen, so I was doing that. Actually, um, about yesterday, I wasn't actually going to Yokohama to play BB. There was actually like, uh, I don't know if you remember in 
EVO 2010, the Melty Blood winner, Garu, well, he set up an event for me so I could play a bunch of the top MB players in the area. So I don't, you guys probably don't know names, but I play like SAT Nero, TI Shiki, uh, obviously Garu, uh, Waka, Kohaku, uh, who, else, who else was there? I'm trying to remember who else was there. Who I played. Zia Reese Beef. I played Taka, Warakia. I played like a bunch of people. I played Melty for like five hours straight or something. It's 50 yen for three rounds, so that's pretty good. That's pretty rare. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like a Melty arcade for like the Yokohama guys. Like they only go there or something. I don't know. Um, it was a lot of fun though. I got to, I started to get used to like arcade timing because it's quite a bit different than um, console. The buffer is different and the game is just different. Like everything, uh, if you know Melty, you, part, you already know the changes, but as usual, like, just, we're behind, and as inversions, we're behind, and I wasn't even sure if we were going to get some kind of port. I haven't been really following the game, so uh, I was pretty surprised at what I was seeing, like, some characters doing stuff. I was thinking about maybe picking up, oh, I played Nia. That guy was ridiculous with his C Seifuku. I might switch to Seifuku while I'm, while I'm here because of how crazy she is. Um, a lot of, the mid-level is like just like America like kind of scrubby I shouldn't say kind of scrubby like it's just like everyone it doesn't matter like how bad someone is like mindset wise and like what they do it's just like everyone can do combos and stuff like so you can't mess up you need to be like perfect so I don't know if I'm gonna play H. Kohaku too much. Maybe, maybe I'll play H. Kaku in tournament, but I'm gonna start learning to see Fuku like tomorrow, sometime this week. Just get the stuff down. She's she's really good. You can just play safe with her, and then it, you just get your one hit and carry them in the corner. And her mix up needs to pretty Everyone, basically, Melty right now is if you can take the other person, it's kind of like CS1, like if you can take the person to the corner easily and have like a safe like setup, like mix up kind of thing that they can't like, disrespect at all, that you're probably like a good character. Like Nero, C Nero got buffed a lot, like all those characters are crazy. But this this isn't about Melty anyway, so I won't go on and on and on about Melty despite me having, in the end, uh, before I just felt like MB was just like a lot of jokes, but like just like jokes, joke kind of game, but it's actually really really fun, and I'm a little bit upset that you guys aren't gonna get to play it. You guys are gonna get to play the balanced version, so it's everyone's gonna probably be a little toned down. Hopefully, archetypes broken, so I can play her. Uh, <laughs> um, so after I go eat with the Melty guys, who are really cool by the way, they're really cool. Um, Ti, Ti, and Waka and Garu and Nia, those guys like. All the guys that we came with are really cool. Oh, shout out to Commodore for helping that get set up, by the way. That was really cool of you. You didn't have to do that. Um, after that, I go back. So I played, I, I also got to meet this multiplayer, Hagi, who was like a top player in like version A. Uh, probably still top player now. I haven't been following tournaments too much. But I played him in BB before I left to go eat. And then when we get back, there are a bunch of people hanging around the BB cab, and Garo's like, oh, you should go play those guys. They're really good. Uh, that's Minami Bang, and that's uh, Kyoto Lychee over there. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what are these guys doing here? So uh, I sit down to put my money in. I played Saka Sakamoto Ryoma's Ragna, Minami's Bang, and Noel, and Kyoto's Lychee. I only got to play two games against Kyoto, and I, I won one, and I lost the other one, like, barely, because, like, I dropped a combo, it was, like, stupid. Um, so far, the best light tree I've played is by far Shonen, like, I beat Shonen once, and after that, I just, I felt like I couldn't even touch them. Uh, it gave me a little bit of insight to how the light tree mirror should be played, because in America, I can just rely on just being better than the person, like, at the game in general, but here, I had to, like, 
Because I don't have that much lychee experience, I've been having actually quite a bit of trouble against lychee. At least my first and second day, but now I think I can do better because I know what I got bodied by by Shonen, so I'll do better at least when I play them. Uh, Sakamoto Ryoma is like, uh, hmm, is there American? He's like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played Leonel Requiems, like Midwest Ragna. I guess, I guess Leonel like, just copied a bunch, like X copied a bunch of his stuff, like some of his good stuff, because it just felt like I was playing just like a slightly better Leonel. Actually, the main, the thing was, I played, before I left, like maybe a week before I left, I played Leonel a bunch, maybe like six or seven games. I lost three or four of them, and then I was like, "What? The, what's wrong with me? Why am I losing this guy? I shouldn't be. <laughs> I shouldn't be losing." I was like, mulling over it. But while while we were playing, I was mulling over it after like I lost another one, and I was like, "Huh? What's going on? I'm like not winning consistently." And then I I thought about like Light Chief vs Ragna neutral game, and. So basically against most Ragnos, I just kind of rely on them just being really wild and stuff and just getting hit by like put the stick down and I fly. Oh sweet, I got a counter hit, whatever. But for Ragnos who are willing to not just be wild and hit buttons, they'll just get in eventually. So I decided to be a little bit more aggressive rather than pat like be instead of just committing to being passive in the matchup, uh I figured I should, I should, hmm. I figured that I should think, like, actually see, pay more close attention to how they react when I put the stick down. And then from there, either play passively in turtle or go in really hard. So today when I played at Giggle, I played like four different Ragnas and they're all like crazy fucking wild. So I just turtled like normal. But I expected Sakamoto Ryoma to be good anyway. So I was like, all right, so Lino probably either thought about this on his own and decided to do this or saw Sakamoto play a good lychee and then, oh, he's playing like this, I'm going to play like this because he won or whatever. Either way, it's fine. Uh, so I just, so in the net play matches with Lino going back, uh, the last game I was like, all right, I'm just going to, if he's just going to respect me putting the sick down and stuff and just walk around a block and be really safe, then I'm going to take that opportunity to go in and get my hits. So that game, I won. And then I had to go, which sucked, because I wanted to play more. But against Sakamoto Ryoma, I did that from the first game, and it was really good. But we, we like, went even. He's really good. Um, Minami, though, Minami fucked me up so bad. Like, <laughs> I, well... Okay, it, it felt like that because I lost a lot of games to him. I, it, a lot of the games were kind of close when I played his bang. Uh, his bang, you guys wouldn't think, well, I guess you would. It it doesn't do, like, some people are only impressed by, like, tricks or gimmicks or, like, crazy setup and stuff. Like, Minami does none of that. Like, he just plays a really simple, straightforward, effective bang. And it really works for him. Uh, his Noelm. You guys actually, this is a, he told me, he actually taught Tokido uh, Noel. So <laughs> I was like, oh, this, because when I was playing is Noel, I was like, oh, this all seems kind of familiar. And well, there you go, he taught Tokido Noel. Uh, Tokido's from that area too, apparently. So uh, I lost to his Noel maybe, I want to say like eight or nine times before I won a game. Uh, I was not very clutch. Uh, like there was one time where like I I baited his super because sometimes he just like does super and like hits stun blocks on so I was like all right I'm gonna bait this super and he did it and I was like yeah and then I did two C and I dropped eight so I got like six D I'm like wow I just dropped this game winning combo that happened a lot against him which made me upset got got step up my execution a little bit uh, I was drinking a little bit. well I wasn't really uh, drunk or buzz just like light buzz so it was good. Um, they were really fun to play. After I played Minami's Bang, there was a, actually a, a 202 PSR Bang whose name escapes me at the moment. And then another Bang, uh, he, his, he doesn't have a name on his drive card, but 
he, I'd say he's about the same too, like 200-ish PSR. And I just beat them both. Like, I was like, all right, get out of here. I just practiced against your best bang. Uh, <laughs> I'm so ready for this shit right now. But it was really fun. Like, the play level was very high there. Uh, just getting by, like, I got bodied. I, I can't say that I did not get bodied by him. But the matches were, like, good good games. Like, I didn't just get killed. Plus, playing, playing them gave me a feel of how different... How different, a really different Japanese play is from American play. But first of all, everyone knows, I, I won't say everyone knows everything, but the knowledge, the overall average knowledge is definitely higher than America's. Um, and people are way more willing to just make decisions, like commit to their decisions and do shit. Like, I don't know. Uh, I, the Japan, at least from at least the mid level, the mid level players are like kind of the same, but they just know a little bit more about the game. But the top up, the higher level players are just like, um, really, really. I, I that's wrong. Like I said, like the average player, uh, is, I don't know, just they're just more willing to do like whatever, and they go in like really, really hard. It was I was just really surprised. And, and plus, even the way they approach like pressure and stuff is just different from America. It's, it's interesting, actually. Um, the average player level in Tokyo is supposed to be kind of high, like just average, and it kind of is. Like, I went to Club Sega in Akihabara on Saturday, and I played like all these different bangs, uh, a couple of Ragnas, like all these guys. Like, I was being these guys, but all these guys could definitely go to America tournament and get like top three with almost no effort. Like, <laughs> I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, I was, pu I was pushing out my wins or whatever. I got, like, a seven or eight win streak there. Uh, but I was like, damn, these guys could show up and, like, take some American money if, like, they had the chance. Like, for sure. Uh, there, I played Conan, but only one game. That guy just matched DP so hard. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, I played Adon Azama. I don't know if you guys watched that. Uh, he actually, like, won Tachikawa the day I got there. Like, if... If I got to Japan like earlier in the morning and I knew and my friend told me about it, I would have went to Tachikawa that day for a tournament. But oh well, I'll just try to get make it to the next one. Um, who else was there? Oh, Adon was good. I, I only played him two games and he beat me one and I beat him in one. Uh, Kimura, this is again what I was talking about, Lychee Mirrors. Like Kimura, Lychee beat me like 10 3 or something. I was just. This was this was before I realized what like Tokyo and like Japan mid level play was like. This guy does not fucking block. Like this guy does like wake up DP, backdash, two A, jump, like whatever the fuck he wants. And then the the cabs lag a little bit, so it's kind of like net play. So like I was getting hit by six A all fucking day. I'm like, oh my god, dude, what the fuck's going on? And then when I got back to the apartment, because we came back to the apartment with Sat Satoshi and Blackie. If you guys don't know Blackie, he would call for SBO last year as Lychee, and I think he's an SBO for Aquapaza actually, but I'm not sure. Uh, and he plays, he's like 170-something PSR Mu, but he still plays Lychee, and when I played his Lychee at the apartment, and he was doing like 6A of 4D, I was like blocking it. When I saw it, I blocked it, so I was like, what the fuck? So, I got really mad. Uh, well, all my wins against Kimura was just me getting, like, counter hits all day, because you just match all day and stuff. And, like, I don't know, I wasn't ready. A lot of the players were like that, too. So, I was like, whoa, man, Japan's a man. This is pretty matchy. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> but, uh, next time I see Kimura, I'm going to run it back hard. I mean, now I get the Lychee matchup, kind of, like, more, because Shonen beat me up so bad. Um, on, on a side note, uh, both Sakamoto, Ryoma, and uh, Minami both were like, yeah, like, Conan, Conan and Kimura, they're just masters. And I was like, yo. But I'm looking for it. Like, the last week I'm staying in Yoki Yokohama, so I'm going to try to practice with them some more. And and hopefully, like, I don't know. I need a, there's a couple of more places I want to hit up in Tokyo, but... Like I said before, in a little bit, I'm going to Nagoya to play. Uh, be, I'll just be there for like the night. I don't know if I'm coming back to Tokyo tomorrow or 
what what's the plan for tomorrow. But yeah, that's my um Japan experience so far. Uh, actually, I think a couple people. I'm gonna answer questions from the last show real quick. I just need to snag my laptop. Hold on. Okay. <sighs> All right. So let's see here. I got. I remember getting a couple of questions. Sec, my laptop is being a little silly right now. Come on, laptop, what are you doing? I don't know why, but YouTube is not working. That's where everything is. But it's kind of sucks right now. Is something happened on my internet? In the meantime, quick net play. A little treat. This is net play in Japan. You guys are not ready. All right, let's see if we got this working now. All right, there we go. Okay, so first I have one from Leo. Yes, he, he asked. Uh, Oh, I actually I can answer this a lot better since I'm actually in Japan now. Um, what do you think about the Japanese CS2 meta game, especially with regards to Togeki and SBO? Why is the arcade tier list or your own personal tier list not reflected in the character distribution of qualified players, both block and local? I think the simple answer is it's just because matches vary. So like anything can happen in a tournament, like. Well, oh, plus, also it depends, like some areas have like a lot of strong players and then some others don't. So like like where I am right now, like no no really good players show up at Gigo that much. Uh, I think Satoshi is like 20 minutes from here or something, so he doesn't come here. So if like you can try to go to like an easy arcade and just like try to snag a qualifier spot. Uh, Makoto is definitely the best. I've only played a couple of Makotos in arcades, and but they weren't even that good. So, like I said, just just matches vary really. Um, no one, there's not many people with a win rate much higher than like 65%, which is I think pretty crazy. Mine's right now I think it's 53 or so. What? Oh, 
Oh, where is it? I really hope that's not the only one. I'll be kind of sad. Okay. My bad, that's the only one. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know. In my memory, it felt like I had a lot of these. Alright, so I'll fill in a gap by... It's fine. Oh! I wonder if I can play. Oh, no! I don't know, I don't know how clearly you guys can read that, but that's definitely Tetsu Wo's Shin. That'd be awesome if I could play him right now. Wow, how sad. Can I really not connect? Sad face. How much? Let's try getting in here. That play is like same shit. Like besides like top players, it's just like America for the most part. You have like your net play superstars, blah blah blah, normal stuff. Uh, the connections are all like three, four though. That's the only difference, which is awesome. Like no lag. Okay, that guy's feeling himself. Oh, don't play. I mean, I, I'm gonna try, really try to get into Tetsuo's room. Uh, it's really impossible. I'm pretty sad that I can't connect him. I wonder where he shows up on PSR rank. Oh, surprisingly not that high. Alright, one more try. <sighs> nope. Alright. Ranked. Yeah, I've only played like... I guess I could be greedy so I'm in Japan. <laughs> I've only played like a, a couple of games in ranked, so... I mean, nothing much. It's... It's still a little bit early to be net playing. Normally, like, net play high time starts at, uh, I don't know, 10 or so. 10 p.m., something like that. Stick butt comes back soon because I don't want to get there too late. I'm gonna be gone at like six. Oh, it's different from playing Google. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut it short. Uh, someone is here. Uh, I'll upload another one next week. How do I stop this?